This is Bean Counter Pro. It's a web application I designed and developed to keep track of my billing, invoicing, expenses, mileage, all these things that you see over here. As you can see, the interface is designed to fit right in with Apple's Leopard operating system. Uh, I've got a Windows Vista theme, so it fits right at home there too. In this demonstration, I'm just going to be going over the billing section. Start out by creating a new client. So I just click this plus button and do demo client joe, joe at joe.com and add this client. Let's add a new project. Let's say I'm doing a website for them. Now you notice these drawers are sliding up automatically. That's because there aren't any billable items here yet and there weren't any projects over here. So it slides up because obviously the only thing I want to do is add a project or add an item. So let's say this is the initial prototype and it's $500 and let's say that I did this last week on Wednesday. Add it in. Let's say I come back later and I'm going to do some of the graphic design. Now I could say I've worked for one hour or I could say that I worked for three hours or I've got this nice record button that will start timing it up in here. So I could uh, open up Photoshop and start working and come back a few hours later or the phone maybe rings so I can stop recording, talk to whoever I talk to, and then keep recording. Eventually this would add up to quite a bit, so let's uh, just put that in manually, 2 hours, 30 minutes. We can add that in there. So now we got both of those. Maybe these folks want us to do a vehicle wrap also. And um, maybe the wrap itself was $500. They ordered two of them for both their trucks. Gave them a $100 discount. Since it's a tangible good, I actually have to charge them sales tax. So I can choose one of these rates that I've got here. Or I could add a new one. Let's say that the tax rate is now just 5.25%. Now I've got the vehicle wrap. Now let's talk a little bit uh, more about the interface. I can come over here and uh, delete clients just by clicking the minus button there and that works for the projects and the items as well. Notice how <clears throat> these items are, or these buttons are disabled. It's because if I click them, there's nothing to, to do, but when I choose one of these clients, that, or one of these projects, then these buttons become active and I can actually do something with them. Same over here, they become active. I've got different views for these boxes. I can view all my clients or just the active ones. I could view all the projects or view the invoices. And um, I can click on all to see everything inside of these. Now there's keyboard navigation throughout it. So if I push my up arrow, it moves me up the list. If I push to the right and to the right again, back to the left, you see it just jumps all around. Even all these buttons have keyboard commands like Shift A brings up the Add form. Shift E brings up the Edit form. And if I hit Delete, it would delete um, one of these projects. The interface is also resizable. So if I need a little bit more room, then I can do that. Now you may have just noticed that all these expanded. If I make the window too small, then it shortens these up, which is incredibly helpful when you've got a lot of information to go through. Now, if I squeeze these as small as possible, I still don't have enough room to see this whole table. And so I've got this nice button here that slides it out. And then I've got a filter where I can look at only things that say phone or video, or maybe I'm looking for something that was $200 or something that was a thousand. And then I can export this into a CSV file. And then I can open it up in um, something like Excel or Numbers from Apple. Send it to my accountant if he needs it. You notice it only gave me the things that uh, are inside of here. And that's it. Thank you for joining me.